Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Chelsea, and today I'm going to be talking about the Prairie Primer. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I'm a very big unit study and notebooking type homeschool mom that fits well with my teaching style and it fits well with my kids' learning style. I had never done Prairie Primer or even heard of it before I started it this year. A friend of mine recommended it to me and we do it together with her family and we have a lot of fun getting together for parties over this book. My kids love the little house books. Previously, we had only read the first two when they were much younger, but they love them. I love them. So I thought, hey, it's been a few years since we read them. Let's give this a shot. And so far, we are really enjoying it. So I thought I would show you guys the book, let you flip through it and see what you think about it. Maybe it'll be a good fit for your homeschool day. What I really love about it is it is one humongous unit study right over all the books. So it's a unit study with notebooking and you can just take your time, do it how you want to do it. And sometimes I, you know, do my own little thing to the assignments and sometimes I follow it straight through and it'll tell you what to do. There are a few things in the book that I don't necessarily agree with as a mom, as a parent, but I mean, I feel like when those things come up, it gives you the opportunity to talk with your children about how everyone has their own point of view and opinion, and that's okay. Here's what they believe. Here's what I believe. Now you get to choose what you believe, because I think that freedom of choice is a big thing, and we all need that, don't we? So this goes through, obviously, all the little house books. It is all planned out for you. So you can just kind of pick it up and go. It tells you at the beginning of the week what you will need for that week resource wise, like from the library or what you might need to get from the store, what you might need to go ahead and look up, find a video on or a song on so you can be prepared for the week. So it goes through all the books. I bought this um, used off eBay. You can buy it brand new, but you know, I thought used, save some money. So it has some a few pencil markings in it, but it's fine. So we are on town, is what we're on. It tells you at the beginning all the topics that will be covered in this book. Um, <clears throat> it covers everything. It even has some math stuff in it, but it's not enough at all math-wise. Math on here is just extra problems just for fun. You will need a math curriculum, otherwise it covers it all. So it tells you. We have Bible concepts and building character, Bible memory, crafts, and health. Once y'all get a look here. Okay. You have history, government, social studies, and geography. You have history biographies. You have literature and language arts. And you have literature, oh, and language arts again down here. Okay. These are all the sciences that your children will be learning, all the different things in science. Okay, you also talk about the animal kingdom. You will also talk about the human body. And what I like, again, is you can always take the time to slow down and really delve deep into these things, or you can keep it quick and brief and simple, depending on how you want to do it. This will go all into how to use the Prairie Primer. It'll talk about how each unit is divided into four weeks. That means each book will take you a month to read, a month to go through. Some days you will read one chapter, some days you will be read three chapters, but it's never a whole bunch of reading. It's because that one chapter was really long, and maybe those three chapters were really short. You will do four days a week, which I love. I'm a four day school week person because then if you're behind, you have that Friday to catch up. So you're never really behind. And then if you're not behind, you have a long weekend. You will always have comprehensive questions. And then it tells you <clears throat> different things you can do for third grade level, fourth grade level, fifth grade level, sixth grade level. Okay, so you can really make it work for your child. Um, sixth grade is as high as it talks about going in here, but that's going to depend on your child and what you want to do. You can always make things stretch. 
you can always make things shrink, right? So all my kids listen to it from my three-year-old to my soon-to-be 12-year-old. They all listen to it and they all have their own spin on how it goes. My, my oldest girl is in sixth grade, so it works well for us because I have kindergarten through six, well, and a preschooler, I guess. Talks about art, vocabulary, music, and other resources that you will be required to get. Any additional curriculum you might want to have. And just different, can you see, general activities. So you can really know what to expect that year, that month, that week. It's very well organized. Each book will have its own section. So Big Woods is obviously the first. It'll tell you all kinds of things you need to know about the history before you start. Um, so you can know as the parent what's going to be talked about. So you can kind of fill your brain with the knowledge you need to fill your brain with. As you can see, it really just goes. Now, this is one of the things the food pyramid is obviously a little outdated. In my opinion, it's not how we believe the food pyramid should be. But that just gives you extra studies because then you get to talk about all the different things that people believe and why and then let your kids choose. So it talks about a party you can have and food you can make to go with it. And then it has the week one planning guide. So it'll tell you that you are learning about bears, growth and development of children, manners, light and prisms, rust, owls, history of guns, the mechanics of guns, gun safety, History of the song Yankee Doodle, Lungs and Breathing, Rabies, Louis Pasteur, I believe. So he invented one of the vaccines, another controversial topic that you can just teach how you feel needs to be taught and how to make a corn husk doll. So it tells you everything that will be covered and underneath, so like bears, it'll tell you different resources you can get to go with that. Obviously, you can go get whatever resources that you want. But this gives you ideas. If you're in a rush, you don't have to think about what bear books do I want. You can just kind of follow their guide. It is a little older. Some books are harder to find. But I have had, you know, a pretty easy time finding the books. And then I also just kind of pick my own. It'll tell you all the items together for activities that you will be doing. So I like that. So you know, it'll suggest field trips to take and videos to watch to help you kind of plan your week. Obviously, you can put your own spin on everything. It also comes with worksheets sometimes, like this was Steps in Making Butter Sequencing Worksheet. My printer, I don't have one anymore. I got rid of it. Long story. So I just, we just talked about this out loud. I did not have them do it, but you could print it off, pass it around. So that was showing you like your week at a glance. Here's everything you're gonna learn this week. Here's everything you're gonna need this week. Here's the activities you can do this week, so on and so forth. Then it breaks it down by day, okay? You have day one, it tells you what to read. It gives you questions to ask, and then it'll go into your activities. So you can tell it's broken into literature, science, writing, science, vocabulary, living, psychology, Bible, Bible, living art, living manners, Bible, general. So I kind of try to find like all the science things and we'll go through that because it's not always just under science. Um, vocabulary, go through that. Living, go through that. So it just tells you what you're going to do. I'll turn this stone around, I think, and show you guys. So you can really, really see what a week would be like. Okay, so I turned it around. We're on the same week one, day one for Big Woods. But this way you can kind of get a better idea here of what is happening. This book again came with these markings, but that's okay. So there's day two. Here's everything. And I will say some weeks and some books have more work than other weeks and other books. So this may seem like a lot. It may seem like not enough. Not every week is the same. We have weeks, here we have day four, and then you're ready for a new week. We have certain weeks and certain books that I feel like it goes by so fast, and we will add other things that have to do with that same time period to our week and notebook it 
um, that way. And then sometimes it's so much that I am just like, oh, rushing to get through, I feel like. So it just depends. But you can see, so you're going into week two. Okay, another one of those. And it just does this. Day one, here's what you're going to do. Day two, here's what you're going to do. And it'll do that through the book till you get to the next book. Let's see if we can find it here. Which is Prairie. Also, I feel like day four of week four is always super short and sweet. It's a good time to have a party, have a field trip, do whatever you're going to do. So Prairie time starts. It gives you some background information so that you as the teacher can really know what you're talking about, right? <laughs> and you can read that to your kids. Again, more just extra background history. And then it talks about general activities to do. So these are some things that aren't going to be, you know, mentioned a lot in the book. You're just going to remember to do that. Week one planning guide. And so every book, every one of the little house books will have this. And sometimes you will have something that you need to print off so you can do map work. Now, I will say this does not go in complete order. So here we are. That's where we're about to start on town. What it does is, I'll show you if I can find it. It does Big Woods, Prairie, Plum Creek, Shores, Long Winter, Town, Golden Years, Farmer Boy, and then First Four. And Farmer Boy actually comes up in here. I can't remember if it's after or before Prairie. But they just do that to kind of get through, just stay on Laura's path, Laura's path, Laura's path, and then go back a little bit talk about Farmer Boy. So Plum Creek, that was a fun one. You did like life cycles and animal classes. So yeah, it is fun and it ends back on, there's the first four. And in the back of the book, let me find it for you guys. Oh, appendix, there we go. So it'll have extra little, little goodies that you might need. And then it even has, now we don't use these, we just use our notebook. Let me find these. So this would have, you're going to be learning about bears. It tells you big woods, week one for use with day one. We just use our notebook. I said, draw me a picture of a bear, draw me a picture of their tracks. And I said, you know, talk to me about it, describe them, lifespan. I just read this to them. You could print this off, keep this in a binder or folder. Or you can just use a notebook, but it has one for some of the different animals that it tells you to look up so yeah that kind of shows you that book so i hope you guys got a good enough look at this book i like to try to show a very page by page view so you can really get a good idea instead of just hearing my opinion on it we really have enjoyed this book um it really flows with our you know school style um I do recommend it if you like that kind of unit study type thing. I had brought my kids notebooks so I could kind of show you some pages like they did the human body. So we just, they traced a human body. You can see they did a Bible verse and made a picture to go with it. Here was just, they drew pictures to go with some of the things. Um, here was their map work. They went with one of the books. Here's where they talked about horses, um, has you do different writing assignments, drawing certain plants, certain plants again here, it has vocab words. I realize I'm going backwards, well that was just math. But yeah, it has lots of good stuff, more writing assignments, more pictures. So, and then I just wrote, it's kind of scribbled on, but Prairie Primer, and then what books are in this, because it obviously takes more than one notebook. You could use a binder and separate it with dividers. That would be good, too. Here's another one of my daughters. So it tells on the cover what books are included in this. So later, looking back, we will know. She did the grasshopper food chain here. 
grasshoppers again, and I just have them label here. They were finding verbs and adjectives, five senses. So yeah, they just have lots of fun stuff. They make little posters. This one was Don't Have Envy, where they're learning about their Bible verse and their character traits. So I have them label. If you can see, they'll write their date. I picked a poor page, but, and then they wrote a PP for Prairie Primer, and then four, because that was the fourth book, week one, day four. So we really know it's really organized that way. I like to be organized. It makes me feel better about things. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video about Prairie Primer. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to ask those in the comments below. I'll be happy to chit chat with you guys down there. If you do Prairie Primer and maybe you have some tips and trips, tips and tricks to share with me about how you do it. I would love to hear about that also. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment down below so we can chit chat and please subscribe if you have not. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.